Welcome you beautiful people. Today the skills of the two new infantry commanders, Tarek Ibn Ziyad and Sagan the Great have officially been released. Tarek will be available in either the upcoming CAF MGE or around middle of December. Talents for Tariq are infantry, conquering and defense and he therefore is mean to be a rally leader. His lack of AOE is underlining that. Let's have a fast overview of the skills. Tariq skill number 1, victory of death. Direct damage 2500 plus 600 to 900. Keep in mind that you only consider being surrounded if more than one march is attacking you. So if you are the tanking rally plus you get swarmed by one march, you will get the plus 600 damage factor as this would consider you being surrounded by two marches. Same mechanic like Herald's AUE by the way. Second, Bane of the Viscos. 40% infantry attack. 10% more damage to calves, 10% march speed outside of alliance territory. Gate Crasher. When attacking cities or strongholds, 30% infantry defense plus 30% trigger chance to apply a 30% normal attack debuff to the target for 3 seconds. 8 seconds cooldown. Keep in mind that the 8 seconds cooldown will start with the beginning of the trigger. Means after the 3 seconds debuff, it can already trigger again after 5 seconds. So in average, around every 7 seconds, this should trigger. 3 seconds active, 7 seconds inactive. Battle of Guadalete. I hope this was right. 15% increased damage, 10% trigger chance to reduce AT rage for 3 seconds, resulting into 240 rage. 8 seconds cooldown. The silent trial rage reduction works even after the rage limit cap, so this skill should work the same. So after you reaching the rage limit, the AT rage should reduce per round. And the expertise, Keen Berber Blade, that's already the first skill shown. Without the expertise, the first skill is only causing 2200 direct damage, plus a capped 300 if surrounded. Sargon the Great, talents are infantry, versatility and skill, great for open field but also for rallies. Skill number 1. Sa Kisatim. For 5 seconds causing 500 direct damage factor, that's a total of 2500. Standing Army. 10% attack and 20% HP. When attacking, 100% chance to inflict an odd stack. Per stack, the target receives 3% higher skill damage. The stack lasts for 10 seconds with a stack limit of 10, so maximum 30% more skill damage received. Conqueror of Sumer, 15% infantry march speed, 10% infantry damage, 10% trigger chance for 30% all damage for 3 seconds. Cooldown 8 seconds. Anus Fury, 10% infantry defense when in the field, which should mean on the map, but maybe the in the field will also include when being in a resource tile. When the target has 10 odd stacks, they will be removed while causing 1000 damage factor to the target plus a shield with factor of 300 is being received lasting for 5 seconds. Expertise and Lil's Blessing 15% less skill damage taken. When hit by a normal attack, 50% chance to afflict 2 odd stacks to a target. When this is triggered while having a shield, it will inflict 1 extra stack. Cooldown is 8 seconds. Now some fast swords. Sagon's force skill, which is removing all stacks and causing 1000 damage factor, could be left on 0. So 10 stacks are being kept on to the target without clearing them. This could be a lower investment debuffer. As people will try to avoid getting odd stacks, Sagon could be used as primary with a stronger secondary like CPU to stay longer on the field causing damage while getting avoided of being attacked. His expertise would be OP without the cooldown of 8 seconds, but it still may be valuable enough. Let's see. The lack of AOE of course is a bit sad. Tarik looks like a big single target nuker, but it's questionable if he can outperform Henry in its rally role. Comparing Sargon with Tarik, Sargon looks like the stronger commander also viable for open field. Let's see the reports popping in after those commanders have been released. What are your thoughts on the two new infantry commanders? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Have a nice day and see you on the next one.